Good morning, boys and girls. So good to see you today. So glad you're here. Come up and sit on Grammy's quilt with me this morning, and let's talk about one of God's big creations. This morning, I'm going to give you some clues as to what this big creation is. It's the largest land mammal, and it's gray in color. Hmm, does that give you a hint? It's got big floppy ears, and it has a trunk, a big long trunk that's seven feet. That's right. I heard it over here. Elephant. That's so good. There are three species of elephants. There's the African savanna, there's the African forest, and there's the Asian elephant. How in the world can we tell them apart? Well, the African savanna is, has the largest ears, and that's how we tell them apart, is by their ears. The, this African savanna, is, the ears are shaped like the continent of Africa, and the Asian, elephant is their ears are smaller and they're shaped like the continent of India. Elephants have great memories. They have a great sense of smell which is tied to their memory. They can smell and have senses about certain people that they've been by or certain places that they've been to. I brought a picture, a coloring picture, will be posted on my site. And it says, God made the elephants. You can see its big, long nose and tusks that are made of ivory. Big, huge, floppy ears. And elephants weigh up to 8,000 to 14,000 and upwards on pounds. Goodness, they're so big. Babies are called calves, and baby elephants have a gestation period, which gestation means how long it was in, the baby had to be inside the mother before it was born. Guess how long it is, has to be in there. 22 months. Wow, it's almost two years. Calves weigh between 200 and 300 pounds, and they can stand up in 20 minutes. Calves also have tusks, and these tusks are make their appearance at about two to three years old. Ivory tusks have are actually sent are incisors their teeth and they can they are used to plow up the dirt or lift items elephants go in herds and these herds are very interesting because these herds are all female or all male and um, their baby calves stay with the mother between 10 and 15 years. And then, if it's a male, it goes to the male um, herd. Elephants are very fast runners. They can run up to 40 to 50 miles an hour. And they live a long life, elephants do. They live the same lifespan that humans do up to 70 years old. Whoa. Elephants are herbivores. That means they eat grasses and leaves off of trees and twigs and flowers. And they have to eat over 200 pounds of plants every single day. Now, elephants fill that big, long trunk full of water and up to two to ten gallons of water can be held in one of their trunks 
And if they want to get a drink, they have to turn it around so that it goes in their mouth. They don't actually consume anything through their, no their trunk. And when they're done taking, like if they filled it up with 10 gallons of water, they would spray it on their bodies so that they can wash their bodies off. Then they do the most interesting thing. They go and find a dust area, a dusty area, and they fill that trunk up with, or uh, and use it kind of like a scoop and throw dust all over themselves. So they take dust baths, baths, and do you know why they do that? They do it so they won't get sunburned. They, in Africa and in the parts of Asia that they're in are very, very hot. And so they use that as so that they don't get burned. God made the elephant. And if you go to almost any zoo, you're going to be able to see it. And you, this is such an interesting animal. They have just so many neat characteristics. The big ivory tusks, the long nose, which can be up to seven feet long, the big, huge floppy ears, and they weigh so much up to eight to 18,000 pounds. Anyway, God made them so wonderful and very unique, just like he made you unique and very wonderful. Thank you so much for being such good listeners today. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, I so thank you for the children. I thank you what they add to our lives, every single one of them, how unique they all are, and how God has numbered the hairs on their heads. Oh Lord, I pray you will protect them. And thank you, God, for this wonderful day that we could come together and worship together. And I pray that in Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you so much for being here. See you next week.